going on? Tracy here, Kansas Garden Guy, Summer Pick Farms. What is up? Well, today's episode, or this week's episode, I think what we're going to do is we're going to get, if you guys remember right, we had uh, some wildfire mix in this, and we terminated that, I think, a week or two weeks back now, and I've had black plastic on it here. In this 80 degree uh, days we've had, I'm pretty sure it's probably killed out most of that. So what I'm going to do is, you can see, I've got five trays of Salanova. Starts look amazing, look great. They're just a little bit on the small side of transplanting where I like to be transplanting, but these guys have been in these trays for over probably about a month now, and I really need to get these guys in the ground if I'm gonna get some salad mix harvested. You can see I've got a little bit of Salanova left. Got half a row up in tunnel number two, so I need to get this stuff in the ground, so once I start harvesting this, I will have Salanova to go to in the future. take a look at this soil let's get down deep and take a look at this now that we are down in the nitty-gritty you can tell uh, occultation really works well here um, these black sided tarps um, and it doesn't have to be in a high tunnel they could technically be outside also as long as you could keep the wind from messing with them but you can see some of the garden debris look how soft this soil is look at this 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 I just dig down in there this is why we build these beds with this deep mulch uh, compost style um, they work great just cut off stuff you can see there's a little bit of root matter right there not a big deal just let that be and then uh, we'll work that into the soil okay so what we're gonna do is we are going to grab the garden rake and I've got five buckets of compost already ready to go. So what we'll do is we will inoculate this with some compost. We'll rake that in, just lightly rake that into the first inch or two inches of the soil. And then we're going to get to planting. So here we go. keep my twine in here and then all this is for is for getting my beds laid out pretty simple pretty cut and dry stuff pretty standard market style growing um, makes everything kind of nice and neat in here so let's get these lines put in This job would be a lot easier if I had a tilter, um, but I don't have that tool right now. I'm actually saving up. Hopefully I will get one before the end of the season so I can grow next season with it. Just use a standard yard rake. No big special deal here. Um, it works pretty good. I've seen people use landscaping rakes. Um, I didn't want to spend the extra money just for a landscaping rake when I already have one of these anyway. 
um, to work in my yard before. So it's just another tool I get to save a little bit of money. But I'll get these done real quick and then we will go on to the next step. If you remember right, uh, if you guys have been following along on this series, my little cheater PVC pipe here literally is, this is a 30 inch uh, wide stick. Market style beds are generally 30 inches wide, so this is a cheat sheet here. I've got it spaced at 12 inches, 16 inches, and 18 inches. Um, I do 18 inch walkways, so I know as long as my walkways are in the red every time, I've got 18 inches of walkway here starting from this point here to this point, which is 30. So it's always good, something cheap, easy to throw around. I can throw it in the back of that trailer, take it between the tunnels. Actually, each tunnel has its own PVC pipe. Literally like 50 cents worth of material. So it's, there's no reason not to have your tools in each one of these tunnels. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this spaced out. The reason why we've got to do this every time is because as you're walking on these paths, these beds with wind, water, tend to shift back and forth. So I just kind of like to keep them um, somewhat normal. So what we'll do is we'll use this string here, whew, it's hot here guys, sorry, that's muggy. Um, we'll use this string now uh, to put down each row and that way I can line uh, the Salanova plants into the row. So I'm gonna grab my tape measure. We will lay down a tape line here so I can put these on every foot. That's what I like to do. That's how I get to grow such big heads. I like to grow them a foot apart, give them plenty of room to grow out. So let me grab my tape and uh, yeah. As always, guys, since it is pretty hot and muggy, make sure you always keep a little bit of water, keep yourself refreshed. Um, this is the time that you find yourself getting busy in the middle of getting down and dirty, don't have time or forget to drink water, and this is when people get dehydrated. All right, guys, just as easy as that. Got, uh, 180 Salanova plants planted in this bed and you may be wondering why I use 12 inch spacing on here it's because um, my drip tape is 12 inch spacing so uh, well anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get this watered in I did notice um, a little bit of aphids on some of these so which tells me it's that time of year anytime that you've got potting soil uh, any type of lettuces or anything, you're gonna get a little bit of aphid damage. So I'm gonna come through here tonight possibly and spray a little bit of mineral oil. Um, I only use organic practices here. So it's either gonna be a little bit of neem oil, maybe neem oil, mineral oil mixed together. And I'll go ahead and spray these down really good. Um, just make sure to keep the aphids at bay. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be all for this week. I've gotta to get to watering and uh, I will talk to you guys later. guys check that out pretty cool huh the wind got underneath that a uh, little bit of shade cloth but anyway guys I'm getting distracted I think this is where I'm gonna end the video this week you guys watch me get a little harrow work done around the outside cucumber beds or attempted to get a little harrow work done around the outside cucumber beds you watch me take a bed that was flipped two weeks ago turn it into a new Salanova bed now I'm gonna finish out my day here just doing a little bit of watering in tunnel number two anyway guys I hope that you guys got something out of today's video. As always, be safe, be kind. Oh yeah, make sure you drink your water because it is hot as Hades out here. And I'll talk to you guys next week.